California Republican Congressman Darrell Issa. He sits on both the House Foreign Affairs and Judiciary Committees, and it is great to see you, Congressman. Well, thanks for having me on, and thanks for having me follow the hardest guy to follow I know, Larry <laughs> Cutlow. It's, it's, uh, you know, you were talking to one of the great free traders, uh, and the fact that he's there at the president's side tells you that tariffs are a tool to get to free trade. His very being in the administration says that. What about, what about the issues around China specifically? I mean, this could go on for years, right? You've, you're oh. dealing with a dictator for life. He doesn't care. We've got to be prepared to make China do what they've said they were going to do. I was uh, uh, in China a few weeks ago for the uh, World Economic Forum there. And uh, she came up and, and he talked like a Republican, tax cuts and ending subsidies and so on. He did 45 minutes of a speech that nobody believed, but it sounded great. You've got to hold <laughs> China accountable to what they say they're going to do, not what they've been doing, which includes spying on us. It includes stealing our technology. It includes bullying their neighbors. It includes their military activities in the South China Sea. You know, the, the one interesting thing, there's an old expression that in, in America we only do two things wrong at the presidential level. It's what we do and what we fail to do. And the last couple of administrations failed to take China on. And now everyone's upset because this president's taking China on. Well, I'd rather make the mistake of taking China on than make the guaranteed mistake of not doing it and allowing them to continue to grow with a false economy. Given that we just saw this new Canada deal, USMCA, um, does that empower the president to have a unified front against China? I mean, he's working with the Europeans, apparently trying to do another deal on trade with the EU and the same with Japan. He needs allies to go up against China, doesn't he? Well, he does, but we'll never have them. The fact is, these trading partners will be our trading partners. And moving factories from China to South Korea and to Vietnam and to other places will be part of the solution if China cannot get its act together. But the courage of America is not found in Europe. The courage of America is not even found in Japan. These people will tell you what China's doing wrong. They'll even talk about a WTO complaint. They are unlikely to join us and aggressively do what this president's doing. And that's okay. You know, we can think of all the times in which America led and it was lonely, but at the end of it all, people said, we're sure glad you did. That's what we're dealing with today. So I don't want to raise expectations that somehow the Europeans are going to get a spine. It's not in their DNA, but they are looking for the same alternative trading partners that we are. People other than, or countries other than China that can deliver a quality product. In, in concert with us and preferably one that has a free market economy.